Well, hello everyone, this is Mange. Um, welcome to Mange Unleashed here in Subsistence. Need to run out and grab this crate real quick because it's looking at me, it's taunting me. So, looks like a scrap over there, I better grab two. Anyways, minus the uh, distractions here of loot, I am going to run back to my little platform here the beginning of the base and I wanted to do a little bit of oh, basic instructions on the menu and how to craft and place items not just you know you have to gather wood and build your planks well how do you do that how does the menu itself actually work so that's what I wanted to show you you can see I already got well, let me back up. I'm going to need some walls. So, here's the way this works. Alright. Basic crafting menu. Hit the tab button. Opens up your menu. You see directly in front of you is your inventory. And just a little bit to the right, that's your crafting. Now, if you can see my mouse at all, the first icon is a gun. You click that and it shows you all the weapons and there's you know the pickaxe and the hatchet are there too but first tab is a gun so it's your weapons second tab is a hammer which is kind of tools and things you know sticks wooden planks cordage so let's see I got 44 plant fibers if I want to make some cordage so I will click on cordage it opens up this little window here and it tells you, okay, you have 44 fibers. It takes two to make one cordage. If I click craft one time, it'll make one of those cordage. Now I have 42. So that's how that works. If you want multiple, you just click craft a couple more times. Now I'm making three. You see that it says queued. If you click one of them, it stops the queue. So let's say you know, you're making 50 wooden planks. It's going to take a little bit of time. And something's going on. You want to stop it. You can just click those in a queue to stop the crafting of them. Uh, let's see. The one with the house. This is more the base building. Here's the walls, the doors, the windows. The next tab over is... Look like three little bullets. That's making your ammo. So arrows, nine millimeter rounds, shotguns, rifle rounds, 44 magnum rounds. You just click the one you want, and it tells you, like for 40, 44 magnum rounds, it's five ammo casings and 12 gunpowders to make one 44 round. Um, if you're doing arrows, it tells you you need two nails two sticks and one feather. I already have 25, I don't really need that. Uh, the next one looks like a cross, that's your medical. So there you're making bandages, splints, all the different health kits, adrenaline, heat packs, basic antidotes, biofuel, adhesive, and medicinal tonics. And then the last icon here is looks like a shirt at your clothing. You need to make clothing to keep yourself protected and warm from the elements. So anything you want to make, like let's look at the combat vest. Can't get it now, but just to show you how. So you click on your shirt tab, brings up the menu of all the things you can craft. So let's click on the combat vest and it tells you I need five padded cloth two alloy sheets and three ropes and that will make a combat vest I, no I don't have the alloy sheet so can't make that at all anyways um, hit tab see what about a regular light t-shirt thing about the shirts for example like the medium t-shirt requires a light t-shirt so you have to make the light one first to make the medium you have to have the medium to make the heavy. See? 
a medium shirt requires a light shirt, five cloth, six feathers, and four cordage. So that's how those work. If you want to back up, and let's say I want to build another campfire. Need four more sticks. I don't really need to do that right now. I just wanted to show how it works. Down here, let's try something I do need. I'm going to need a wall. Uh, let's do a windowed wall. I need four more nails. Um, which I have. So I'll take them from my storage crate into my inventory. And go back to the wooden window. Click craft. And you see right here, it's a little progress bar. It's creating that wooden window. And it'll either put it in my inventory here or down my hot bar if I have an open space. Well, I have an open space. It's like the number five slot. So it should drop there automatically. And there you go. So you press five. And it brings it up. When it's red, you can't place it. You know, it's not at the end of the boards. You know, yeah. Oh, wrong button. Well, let's do this. Number eight is my doorway. I'm gonna need that, so I'm gonna walk forward. You, know, you can move around. You can turn, but you place it at the end. See how it turns blue? Kind of snaps into place. Turns blue. That means you can build there. So you hit, you know, click your mouse, and it's built. Uh, number six is my door. So we'll put the door in the doorway. It's a uh, left click on your mouse, and there you go. And hit E. It's your interact key. Opens and closes the door. Now I do have these two foundations. The ideas for these are where did I put them? Eight. I'm going to move the, you know, widen my floor a little bit. So come off, and put it where you want it. You click to set it. This is number six. And then I'm going to put walls in these areas. But let's put this wall here. I like putting a window wall on this side because then I can look out and keep an eye on my beach. Right now, I don't really have to use the door too much. Oh, there's a hunter. You see him? You see him walking all the way across the beach? I got my sights right on him. So since I put the BCU in, the hunters come out into the world. They don't really right away come over and mess with you at your base. But if you're running around out in the world and you kind of pass by each other he will shoot at you he's got a campfire so they're not really running out after you because you're just there in the game you really kind of have to cross paths but even if you don't shoot first they will shoot first so if you find yourself in close range of the hunters you're going to be in combat so Kind of be, keep that stuff, you know, in your mind. You know, get distracted by cordage and scraps. And of course, any blue ammo bag. So, let's see the base is starting to form. Drop off anything you don't have to have on you right now. I only have four nails, so I really can't build much of anything else. I could, however, take these feathers and these sticks and click the ammo, click the arrows. I should be able to make two. Now I'm really out of nails completely. Drop the feathers back off, drop those. I don't need all the boards in my inventory since I'm 
without nails. Uh, I don't. You know, I got my fishing pole on me, but I don't need it on me. Since I'm not going to be fishing. Freeze up the slot. Without the fishing pole, I don't need to tackle. So, let's eat a chicken. Let's have two berries. You just right click on them, you get your little menu, and then you click the one you want. I want to eat one. So, let's summarize real quick here. Let's say I was going to build, can I build? No, I really can't build anything without nails. Um, four six for the campfire. Well, that's what we kind of had a question with was the campfire. So, it's a little bit of a waste, but let me just do this. So, hit tab, open up your menu. Click on that little hammer one for the building things. Brings up your menu. You click on the campfire. It tells you what you need for it. You hit craft. When it's done, it automatically drops down in any free slot in your hotbar. So my campfire right now is in slot number eight. So I press the eight button. Pulls it out. You see it's blue. I can drop it pretty much anywhere I want it. Let's put it right here just because. And then you just left click and it builds it. Now what you need is fuel and, and an ignition source. So you walk over, mouse over the uh, campfire, you see a little menu there that says hit E to open. So you hit E and you have three cooking spots, a fuel, ignition, and ash. And up above it says fuel got a little tab of green it gives you just kind of enough to light the fire but if I wanted to fill it up I'll go up to my wood logs here and I'll drag and drop them into the fuel and it will fill up my fuel and if I had a match I drop that drag and drop into the ignition so then I have fuel and ignition and then I hit the ignite button and then I would get a campfire burning other thing I wanted to do, and this is more for fun. So, in the spirit of, whew, I don't even have enough to do that with. What I wanted to do is run out and like find a bear and show you the animations when a bear gets you. The animations in this game are actually really kind of cool. You don't want to die, but I thought for the purpose of. An instructional video is just to show you a few other things. However, I don't want to lose what I have, and without another storage crate, yeah, you know, I'm kind of full. I do have that lockbox key, so let's do that. But I got, ooh, sun's going down, so I don't have much time. But where I'm going, it's just out this way a little bit. Uh running so push W to move forward and again you tap the shift button and that toggles between walking and running so now I want to run just saves a little bit of time makes me a little quicker hit the bunny and right up here should be in this area is where the lock boxes like to spawn really like to find one here is a scrap I hear the pig I see okay that's just a lockbox so I have the lockbox what do they call it the lock pick I call it lockbox key same thing press and hold E and this, hopefully I get a lot of good ammo. Ooh, there we go, we got, it. well, take it all. So I got four rifle rounds, four 44 rounds. I got nine iron fragments and it takes 18 to make another key. So I found half, a couple shotgun rounds, which reminds me something else I can do. I should be able to do it now, I think. 
Okay, here's a bear. There's a crate on this rock here I'm grabbing on my way back. Okay, call. Run back to my base. Nice thing about um, the plant items is you don't have to stop to pick them up. You just run and press E right as you pass by the plant. The bags and lock boxes and things like that, you actually do have to stop because you have to open them to get the contents. Things like the scrap or this. Plant fibers, you just tap E as you run by. Okay. First thing I want to do is go to weapons, look at the shotgun. I need. I have the scrap on me because it's green. I need five boards and four cloth. So one, two, three, four cloth. One, two, three, four, five boards. Highlight shotgun again. Now everything is green. I can make it. So I hit craft and I'm crafting a shotgun. Let's take these five rounds out of storage. Now I have seven shotgun rounds. We will drop. Come on, drop all this stuff off. I don't have to have, I did get 12 nails out of that. That was kind of nice. Um, now I have too much stuff for my inventory. Uh, let's take the granola bars. If you get hungry, it's instant protein, so. Let's drop that off. I have any more? No. Nine medicinal tonics is nice. That's what you're going in the water for the uh, kelp to make those medicinal tonics. So that's kind of a shortcut. Nice. Drop those off. All right. And the shotgun has automatically landed in the number four slot. So we will hit four. Brings up your shotgun. Hit R to reload. Now I got a fully loaded shotgun. Let me see if I can find a wolf somewhere. Nice things about shotguns is there are one shot kills point blank range in the face of a wolf. So let's find a wolf really quick before it gets too dark. There we go. Now what I like to do is hit C, Mr. Crouch. You can toggle up and down. Move up closer to the wolf. Here he comes. And one shot to the face. Press one to bring up your hatchet. Butcher the wolf. The E button. Click take all. Run back to the water real quick to wash your hands. I know it's dark, you can't see it, but I am running down to the water here. Hit E to wash my, wash my hands. Get back on my little base here. Can at least see stuff. And then that wolf will render the fat and cook the steak and the livers. And there you go. Um, go back to number four where my shotgun is. Hit R to top off my ammo. And there you go. So now, wolves pretty much are, I, mean, I don't want to say no longer a threat. They're always kind of a threat. You have to watch out what you're doing. But with the shotgun, you have an excellent chance now defending yourself so keep an eye on the food because as you saw with the chicken breast food burns uh, I think the chicken breast actually burn a little bit quicker than most other you know those are small little meats so they don't 
take as long to cook, so they burn easily. Uh, you can mouse over them, like the steak now is at medium, and it tells you in the blue the benefits, you know, 20 to your protein, but watch when it cooks all the way. So right now protein is 20, now it goes up to 29. You know, you get more benefits from the food if they're fully cooked. Let's eat the liver. And it just about fills up my protein and my hunger. So I'll keep the steak in my inventory for when I'm hungry I need it. You see my fuel, the green bar is really low. So I'm going to take my wood logs, click, let's see, left click and hold, drag it over the fuel, let go, and it fills it up and puts your wood back in the slot in your inventory. Let's keep all the ammo things together. And there you go. So I hope that helped a little bit more basic instructions on working the menu and crafting. So everything is always tab to open your menu and again your inventory and your crafting menu here. One of the next things I need to build, go to the BCU, hit E, look for your workbench down here. It tells you everything you need for your workbench. Now here's the problem. Let's go up here and look at my ECU. The power maxed out 500 out of 500 and my mass is 100 out of 100. The workbench needs 750 power and 120 mass so I can't make it at all currently but look here in this BCU menu and you see a thing called power storage and mass storage I have to build each of those which will increase my power and my mass storage so then I could build a workbench so power storage I can make it right now with the power mass I have but I do need seven scrap six electrical components and seven wood planks and then you have to find a place where you're going to set these things i would actually rather build a little bit more of my base before i build those because what i tend to do is hide them so what i will probably do i don't want to make it too dark for you but this wall here where the bcu is on yeah on my wood burning stove this wall I'm going to want to build another platform and set it down here behind that wall and then I will put my mass and storage units behind there and eventually I'll have it all closed off so you never even see them. You don't have to do that. It's just, I don't like them as decor of my base. you know. So I will build walls all the way around it once I get my mass and storage, my mass and power storage is built. But that's what I'll do. I'll put them right behind there. I'm going to do something real quick. I'm going to log out of this. Log into my main game and show you power, mass storage, and how these things kind of work. Where I have more to show off. Well, kind of show off. I don't mean show off, show off. I mean show you. Alright, so you take a minute here to pause this. I'll be right back. Alright, I am back in just in time for a hunter raid on my camp so I'll show you the uh, power mass in a minute here where are you guys at first thing in the morning huh oh you're on the other side Where's your buddy? I hear you. I hear the footprints. I don't see him. There he is. Stay still when I'm shooting at you. He's gonna end up running away. There you go.
Knew when he swam, I'd be able to get him. Where'd that wolf go? Let's reload real quick. There's the wolf. And go pick up the bags. Double shotgun, nice. A match and a couple rifle rounds. Cool. Still use up a couple more rifle rounds than uh more than I made or more than I found, but Alright. Back inside. Now, where were we? Power and mass. Alright, here's my main base BCU. Show you this. Hit E to open it all the way to the left. Kind of gives you your stats of your BCU. So, power per second I have in is 0.55, out is 0.25. So it tells me that I am bringing in or making more power than I'm using. Uh, mass is a little bit, works kind of the same way. It automatically builds up to a hundred so usually you just leave these alone and let your mass build up to the hundred and then what you have to do is a couple things I have here this is called the mass fabricator turn this on and it makes mass but it costs you power and it's a lot it's like you know double the power used to make some mass. So every time you use the mass fabricator, mass fabricator, you're eating up a lot of your power. So you typically don't want to use this thing too often. And if you do, turn on a generator. So you're replenishing some of the power you're using when you're making mass. The other option is don't use the mass fabricator at all and use this called a recycler really pretty simple and that's why you burn food so let's take one liver because it's just a demonstration open up with E your recycler click and drag the liver into the add item button and you'll see plus mass you get 4.5 mass at the cost of 9 power so even this costs you some power but not as bad as running the fabricator. Drop it in there. And you see your power and mass move a little bit according to, you know, what you've done. Uh, let me drop off these things. And another match. I like matches. Uh, check on my fuels okay so power and mass if you notice here my max power I can reach right now is 4,000 where in my you know first BC I showed you you know it's 500 and 100 so now I'm at 4,600 because I have made multiple power and mass storages and I hide them in a little fake room like this. See them all? So that's why my power and mass can get really high. You come down here to like to work it. Nah. BCU, if I wanted the uh, lathe I mentioned earlier, that requires 2,000 power. 250 mass so I go run around I let my mass build up to 100 I still need another 150 if I want to make another lathe so I could either turn on my generator turn on the mass fabricator and just let them go and my mass will build up I don't want to do that now because I'm building mass naturally right now so you wouldn't want to do that until you're already at a hundred mass anyways or you're just kind of wasting it let it build up naturally 
go run around and loot stuff, come back and do that. Um, so yeah, come to your BCU. Click on power storage. Make sure you have seven scrap, six electrical, seven planks, and 500 power and 100 mass. Your BCU will automatically reach those levels just naturally so you don't have to do anything special to build like the first ones and then you will see like uh, well, I can make another generator oh well wrong game I don't need that let's close my doors you see they did some damage to my wall here it's all cracked up which is why you would come inside well open up your menu with tab go to your building craft inside hit the hammer what's it take to make a hammer three cloth two boards four scrap metals you can make a hammer which I already have one let's put that in my one slot just swap it out with the hatchet let's grab some nails real quick and some wood because you need to hammer nails and wood to repair. So you go out here, put the hammer on, press one, and whack at it until you see it reach 600 out of 600. This one is damaged. I got 258 out of 600. So click and hold the button to keep pounding on it until it fills up. Hit C to crouch so you can look at the flooring. 448 out of 600, so that needs some repairs. 574 out of 750, that needs some repairs. And that's how you repair your base. Sometimes they get attacked by the hunters and they like to hit this wall along here and they'll break some of my railing but that's the reason why I put this wall out here because when the rogue hunters come ooh, and sometimes I get loot inside my base really nice when the hunters come and attack me pretty much the only thing they damage is my outside perimeter wall here which is the point because they're not damaging my house so let them come out and throw their grenades and shoot at my wall. That's what it's there for. And then I can come in my house. Sometimes I'm inside here and they come attacking and I'm doing stuff. I just ignore them because eventually they leave. And all I gotta do is repair a little bit of my walls. So hunters aren't much of a threat. But you know, you see all these metal walls. That takes those alloy sheets. I think it's three or four alloy sheets per wall. So, you know, crafting all this stuff takes a lot of resources and time. Close my windows. So you gotta go into the water, gather sandstone, bring your sandstone to your refinery here. You'll refine your sandstone. Bring that refined sandstone to the workbench and turn it into glass panels. And then you open up your inventory, go to your building, find your windows. And it takes six glass panels, one metal ingot, two scrap metal, and two adhesives to make one window or glass wall or depends what you're making. So that's kind of the steps to building things. You know, you got to go out in the world, gather wood, gather scrap, um, build up your base, build refineries. These here are actually, oh, what's the, te the actual term? Mining drills. I have two of them. This one is set for water, which is really kind of cool because it gives you bottled waters. And this I have set for iron ore. They're both off now because I'm saving some power. But I turn these on and they go out into the world. They go hunting, do my thing. I come back 
pick up what they've extracted and put them in my refinery here. And that's how you make you know, the ores and the metal ingots and stuff. Uh, let me show you this bottled water real quick. See, I have the canteens here I'm drinking out of, but you see these, you know, a stack of 40 here and a stack of 17 here. These are bottled waters that you can make straight from the mining drill, which is really pretty cool. Nice thing about these are, so you notice that they stack 40 in a stack. So I could take my canteens out, grab a stack of these bottled waters. What it's done then is it's freed up a slot in your inventory. Think of it as a backpack. You know, you can only hold so much. So when you're out looting, doing certain things, you want to keep as much free inventory space as possible for everything you're picking up out there. So you play with your inventory a little bit. Drop off things you don't have to have on you. Things you don't want to lose if you die. Drop these off. Um, typically I don't run around with the hammer on me. So this one's hammers kind of wear out quickly so you do tend to make several of those you know that hatchets are probably the least probably wear out the least quicker your mining picks are one of the fastest things because you're hitting the ore so they wear out really fast um, you see I got 50 fuel bricks or well, 52 because I have more upstairs Show you. Here's the elevator. This is why you make the lathe. You see an elevator track, elevator platform, and the elevator switch. This is the BCU cracker. It has nothing to do with the elevator, but you make the BCU crackers to destroy the BCU of the enemy base. But the elevators are cool. Make a little floor here, and it'll stop at any floor that's right there. If you look up, I don't have those. So I can go all the way up to the top. And this is kind of expensive because I had to go get all that glass and all the metal to make these glass walls and ceiling. And it's completely closed in. I do have a door here so I can go out my terrace, if you will. Kind of cool thing about this is Hunters do come, you know, it's open. I can shoot at things from here. So this is just, you know, it's the way I wanted to build it up here. I have my little rooftop penthouse. I got my two planter boxes. You see that they each have been upgraded to include grow lights but it's daytime, so I'm going to turn the lights off. You see the water is down to 25%, fertilizer is down to 2%. The status of my tomatoes, yeah, they're about, what, a quarter each? So they got a ways to go. So we'll turn off. Hit E to open. Click the turn off button. It turns off the lights. They need fertilizer and water so let's grab that and we'll take four waters it's two each hit E to open drag and drop the fertilizers and same thing with the waters two per and there you go Bed and watered my tomato plants. I got both of those building tomato plants because we've got three chickens right now and having three animals, they eat a lot. But I have three chickens because I want the feathers. Check them out. Well, let's go to animals. I got 57% water and 13% food. But if I look at them, they're all level 8. 
so two more levels they max out at level 10 then they will be ready for harvesting then I get regular feathers like these I have 46 now you will get premium feathers I have 77 of those now and I've used some of those to make 43 premium arrows so if I wanted to I could just take my arrows here drag and drop pick up the premium arrows put them there now I got the good arrows in my inventory also those level 10 chickens you can see here I got full roasted raw chickens well these are the raw ones this one here is I've already cooked so you right click on that you hit eat but I can't because I'm only about halfway on my food and vegetables and this will fill you up more than that so it doesn't really in a way it's kind of nice it doesn't let you really waste it you know you don't want to be full and click on one of these and eat it and it didn't you no good um, what else should I, and no I'm not gonna go run around with this care and show what it looks like when I get eaten. I kind of could. Let me see something. Let's just drop absolutely everything off. Ew. I still can't. I can drop these off here. Yeah, I do want to show you that animations just because it's really kind of cool and funny I think and I'm gonna take all my armor because you run out you get attacked you get shot at the bears or wolf scratch you it damages your clothes your armor so you like this all right I took everything off including the pants if you hit the V button that will show you your character it's good for taking screenshots. So if I do that now, there I am in my tidy whitey underwear, looking all ferocious and dangerous. Hit V again to get out of that. Now, let me show you one other thing before I do this. When you die in the game, you will get options to like respawn anywhere in the game. It'll put you somewhere random. That's just how it works but when you build your base and you built a bed like this if I hit E to open you'll see over here in this menu it says spawns available two I've purchased two spawns if I want to buy another one it's 350 yeah let's do it now the spawns available are three that use up a lot of my mass I mean my power but I'm letting it build up anyways so now, if I die out in the world, I can either choose to res me somewhere out there randomly or res me in my bed, which is what I would choose. That way I'm not running back, you know, trying to find my body and my gear from halfway across the map. There's a barrow there. Let's go. Meet a bear. There's a wolf up there in that rock too, but the bear animations are actually kind of better. You know, wolves are just kind of like they jump on you, they kill you, and they sniff you a little bit and walk away. Bears actually do something with you, and it's a little bit more funny. So, to avoid the wolf. Or is there a grizzly? That's a black bear. Should be the same, but. Let's run out here real quick. There's this rock up here. It's got like a hole cut in it. And there's usually. You can get lucky if those rabbits run right across you. I have caught one once. He literally ran right across my path. I don't see a grizzly. I am really getting close to uh, the mountain lions too. That's even a almost better animation. Which one I've come to first? Grizzly bear or mountain lion?
Alright, yeah. Run all the way across the map just to die on purpose. It's crazy. I think the black bear and the grizzlies are the same animation. I'm just not certain. Should be there's actually two cougars up in this area there's like one over here you can tell you know, it's close to the river but when you go up there into the snow and you know you saw me I'm in my underwear <laughs> it's gonna be cold but this way I don't lose any gear or anything Oh, hear him? There he is. Let's go play with the mountain lion. Have him kill me out here in the snow where it'll be easier to see. And smack him. Hit him. Hit him. Kick. Kick. Run. There he goes. Now he grabs you by your head. <laughs> and he drags you off to eat you later. And that's what a mountain lion does. So my options, I can either hit R to reload my last save, or click the mouse button to respawn. So let's do that. The mouse button to respawn, and it respawned me on my bed. And there you go. Watch and listen for clues that animals have detected you. Well, when they've killed you, you know they detected you. But yeah, it's it means listen for them. Watch for him and listen for him. And that's how you die by a grizzly or a mountain lion. Is there a bear out here, real quick? Yeah, I mean, I got so much power and mass and everything that I'm not really worried about dying a couple more times just for the demonstration purposes. Over here, there's usually a bear. There's one. Looks like a black bear, but we'll try this again real quick. Hello, oh, Mr. Bear. Now, he should. You're not going to? Alright, maybe it's just the grizzlies, but what they do is they pick you up in their paws by your head and they squish your head in their hands. <laughs> it's like, damn. That might just be Grizzlies, because he didn't do anything. But Oh, and here, look at this. You see a skull? That shows you where you died. So, you know, my backpack was empty, so there's nothing in it. But when you die, the game gives you a new hatchet and a glow stick. Oh, and a canteen and a band-aid. How nice. But... That's what happens when you die. And I had the other one you know, where I was up there at the snow where the mountain lion got me. So there's another skull that way. Kind of the same purpose as to BCU. You know, it's a little indicator of where your stuff was. But it's going to be empty, so it doesn't matter. And that's how that works. So, if anybody uh, enjoys this video showing you how the menu works and crafting works, if you have any questions, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe as always, and I will continue on with more of these videos. So, I'm going to go get dressed, and I'll be back later. This is Mange. Take it easy.